Hello friends, in this lecture we will take a look at selectors that are available or that can be used here as selector. So first of all it can be element. So as we have seen in our previous lecture that we have used HTML element. So let me use it here also. Let's write here h1 and inside this h1 let's write hello world let's save it let's open in browser okay so this is hello world now let me copy this so here i have written that this is for syntax class and from here we'll be having for our selector class so let me copy this thing let me paste it here also and this time not p let's write here h1 so let's save it and since the document dot ready function has already been called so there is no need to mention another document dot ready function you can just place this code just after this p dot click function so you can write it here also but since i am separating the code for each class hence i am maintaining this so what you can do is you can just comment it out like this just comment it out yeah now let's save it so now what it will do so when h1 will get clicked this h1 so another thing which i forgot to mention that is this keyword this means this one it references to this element which is mentioned here so this selector is this one so this is this selector <laughs> okay so let's save it and let's come here hit refresh now you will not see that our paragraph is hiding see just click it it's not hiding but hello world will be hidden if it get clicked so let's click on it see it's hidden now with transition and that's transition is because of this 2000 I mean two second let's remove it let's save it and let's see what happens see so it is not having any transition it is hiding the element instantly so it may or may not have argument that depends on you or that depends on the project demand it's cool to have transition so let me come here hit refresh yeah so this is the element selector next we have the class selector so let me have here a paragraph tag and inside let's provide a class say first paragraph and inside let's write here say this is first paragraph let me save it come here hit refresh so this is forced what forced okay so sorry this is first paragraph yep now come inside main.js so how we can write the syntax same first you need to provide the dollar sign then inside parenthesis you need to provide the selector now how you can select this class same as css you need to provide dot first paragraph so let's come here write dot first paragraph well you need to write it inside quote so it can be single quote or double quote so dot first paragraph dot say hide and that too within one second so thousand millisecond and remember this is a statement so let's have a semicolon now come here hit refresh now see it's hiding instantly because we are not allowing any click there 
See, it's adding instantly. So first we have seen elements selected. This can be H1, P, all the HTML5 elements that are available. Then we have seen the class. Now let's take a look at ID selector. So let me copy this, paste it. This time not class but ID. And let's ID equals say me. And this is my paragraph. Now let's come here, hit refresh. Okay. Okay, so the class one is hiding. Okay, I got confused that why is this happening? So the class one, this first paragraph is hiding, and we can see only this one. This is my paragraph. Now let's copy this. Press Ctrl C to copy. Come here, paste it. And instead of dot the class name, just like CSS, mention here hash for accessing ID and then the ID name. Here it's me. So let's save it. Come here, hit refresh. Now see, both of those are hiding instantly. So we have element selector, class selector, ID selector. And in our previous lecture, we have seen this pseudo selector is also there. And you can have attribute selector like this. So these are the basic selectors that you can use as selector. We will learn about these selectors more as we go further in this course. So see you in the next lecture where we will take a look at some of these actions or events, whatever you can say. So some are actions, some are events. This is an event. This ready is an event or load. Load is also an event. Click is an event. So these are the events. So in our next lecture, we will take a look at events that are available in jQuery. So see you in the next lecture. Till then, have fun. Take care.